he was that far ahead of everybody. That far ahead. Who created the heavy duty image of a bodybuilder? Hard, dry, full, everything. He looked unbeatable. I just always felt I'm different from everybody else and I'm destined for something different. And that was a very strong feeling that I had until I came across bodybuilding magazines and uh, I was fascinated by it. It wasn't a matter of I want to do this, it was literally I have to do this. It was something inside of me, almost like, this is it. That's my goal. But Ronnie Coleman, he was a specimen. He was a natural bodybuilder and he was a pro. I've always challenged myself to be the best that I possibly can be. It was more like a mission that I was on. So now I've got to be Mr. Olympia, set a new standard. Before Dorian, no one was trying to get as big as they could get. Everybody was trying to be as athletic and aesthetic as possible. I wasn't a Frank Zane or a Bob Harris or anything like that. I was big, powerful, strong guys. And Ronnie Common, who followed me, was even bigger. <laughs> this guy set new standards for bodybuilding. He'll never be beaten. Ronnie Coleman is eight times Mr. Olympia. People won't forget that. You know, his name will go on forever. Never seen anyone as in condition with that kind of mass. He built a monster physique. He was so dominant, so powerful. His condition is what was key because he came so hard and so crisp. That changed bodybuilding. Back double bicep. First guy to step on stage as like a mass monster type guy with a conditioning. It was hard, it was grainy, it was humongous in every department. There was no finesse to his physique. He was a beast. The thing that got me to be a champion is the training. And I had a passion for it. Ronnie trained heavy. Dorian trained intense. You look at the kind of physiques they built, the conditioning, the dense thick muscle that they brought to the stage. Because we do work extremely hard, just as hard as golfers, just as hard as football players. Harder. You're just there and your mind's inside the muscle. 
nothing else exists and you're pushing to the extreme. The mentality I put myself in is that I'm fighting for my life here. I was real strong in high school. I was real strong when I went to college. The guy trained like a beast. And I used to watch this, this training stuff and saying, damn, how can you do that? You know, I'm not that strong. I wanted to be that strong. T-bar rowing, you know, nine plates and bent rows with four or five plates. I mean, that's just insane. And, and squatting 800 pounds. They trained so hard, heavy and, and intense. Dorian was so far ahead of everybody. And he was beating incredible bodybuilders like, you know, Fletch Miller, Kevin Marone, these kind of guys that were beautiful physiques, but next to Dorian and Ronnie, this is over. What people got to realize is when I'm on stage, when I'm in the gym, that's my job. And to me, it is serious. I take that seriously. I had to go there with that mentality and try and win. Ronnie's is kind of like myself. He's a worker. I can outlift these guys and I can outdie these guys. They can't outwork me. He just was so massive and so big. He blew everybody away. He was on such another level in terms of the muscle size. champion inspiration to all of us he set a standard he pushed the bodies to the next level blood and guts training it was just hardcore intensity level where no one's willing to go oh, that's, long ago. that's a hardcore mr olympia And the last set is going to be like, like somebody's got a gun to your head and he's going to pull the trigger unless you give a hundred percent. It's life and death. One set.